Hey guys, it's Michaela here from the Mom and Baby House. I'm here to make your life easier. Please remember to go and give this video a like, check out our Facebook page and our website. I hope you enjoy. Bye! Hey guys, I'm sure the one thing all experienced moms can agree upon is that one of the most challenging times to endure when you've got a newborn is your night feeds. But do not stress, we have the solution here, our co-sleeper. It's been tried and tested for more than 10 years. Today we'll be quickly demonstrating our co-sleeper and showing its top features. Firstly, you can see here that the base and the legs are height adjustable. This is great because no matter what height your bed, you don't have to stress. The side can also close up and you can change this crow sleeper into a closed crib. Please note guys that the crow sleeper is an extension of your bed, but it does not attach to your actual bed. Then last but not least, the crow sleeper is on four wheels, making it easily mo movable from one side to another. It also has brakes. You just step lightly onto them, click them into position. This is great if you've got any running toddlers or pets in the house. I think it's safe to say that everyone wants to know why this is an amazing product and why first time moms would need to rent it. Yes, definitely. Um, back in the day when I had my children, I definitely did not have a co sleeper. I would have given anything to have had one. Um, in my days, this is how it went down. Uh, I used to wake up at about 2 o'clock for my second feed. And I would take my daughter down the passage quite a distance to the nursery. So I did everything according to the textbook. We would sit in our beautiful rocker in our nursery and we would start the breastfeeding. Mm -hmm. So the session usually lasts about 30 to 45 minutes. Yeah. But now there's lights, there's sounds and your baby tends to wake up even mm -hmm. more. Um, yeah. They find out that they're wet so you've got to start changing them. Then they develop cramps and winds and you've got to start burping and a very relatively short breastfeeding mm. session becomes this lengthy drawn out session. Now I know there's three hours between the breastfeeding yeah. sessions but now that three hours have shortened to maybe mm. two hours or hour and a half. Yeah. Now we rush back she into her car to me into my bed we cold we wide awake and we're gonna try and fall asleep mm. quickly before the next breastfeeding session. So my moms that rent this from us, they say it's such a different experience. They turn on their side, baby latches, and baby is warm, mom is still warm. There's no lights, then there's no sounds. Baby listens to the mom's heartbeat, and they can just fall effortlessly asleep after the breastfeeding session. And it just becomes just the extension of your sleep. And I just think it's brilliant. Well, I think that's all you guys need to hear. I hope you're convinced.